We attended a presentation just to get the idea about boarding schools, not necessarily about any particular school, but the school that presented was Thatcher. We were transfixed for like an hour as he presented it. At the end of the evening, she looks at me and says, I'm going to California. I said, California, are you crazy? Where we live, we're actually surrounded by sort of classic New England boarding schools. I think he was very wary at first because a lot of his friends and people from his school, if they were going to go to boarding school, it was going to be one in Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, not California. And so when he said to his friends he was going to go and look at a school in California, they were like, where? What are you thinking? When Kamaya first brought the idea to me about going to, going to boarding school, I mentioned I told her no. It's just her and I, so I wasn't trying to, what I thought was send her away. But lo and behold to me, she was zoned in on Thatcher. I was looking on the internet and um, I remember I came in and said to my husband, I think I have found the perfect school for James. The bad news, it's in California. We went to other New England schools and she said, no. If I'm going to do boarding school, I want to do a different kind of boarding school. They're all great schools as far as academic uh, rigor, mm -hmm. but that you had a personality that was just kind of overwhelmingly appealing. I remember watching a video, they talked about it's not studies, but like the overall health of the child, taking positive risks. It's a lot of the things that seem to go right in line with my thought process as a parent. I think when you do something like this, it's very different. So people always want you to explain why you're making this point. We didn't feel we were making a point. We felt this is a big decision to send your son away anyway. And whether he was two hours away in New England or you know a six hour flight away, um, he's away. I think schools like to say that you know this is a place where you really belong, but I think Thatcher actually modeled that. Uh, you know, the other school we were most serious about, we came to campus and people didn't remember him. Uh, we got to Thatcher and everybody knew who we were and he felt he was at home immediately. We came here for the revisit day and that was it. I mean, he just fell in love with it. James was at assembly and he turns around to us and goes, I want to go here. <laughs> we thought, well, let's assume he's going to get a great education at any of these places. The books they read are going to be similar, the courses, the kind of colleges they go to. Um, so what's really going to be different? And I think one of the phrases that kept, we kept discussing was this notion of positive risk taking. And the idea of a school that really put that as the kind of top of its list of things they want a teenager to experience. Thatcher has a, a, like a philosophy about learning through like your failures and through your hard work. I guess this goes to what that distinguishes Thatcher from other schools that we saw. They're vested in having the child grow up to be a proper person. We were focused on what is the culture of the school, how much do they emphasize character. In the end, character trumps everything. Uh, you know, the horse program is another way in which uh, you send your child away from home, it seems to me. But that is so carefully thought out in the pedagogy uh, of what Thatcher is trying to accomplish. It is the kind of lesson, like going away from home, like going away quite a distance. You can't get it by not doing it. You've got to find some way to build those experiences into your children's lives. It's an environment that's focused on kind of not only the education, but also kind of emotional and physical and kind of spiritual health. These things can sound, you know, a little abstract, but um, when you're here and you, you know, you kind of feel it and talk to people, you realize how important it is in the life of a teenager. My daughter wasn't used to going by herself at 14, you know, a mile up the road to do anything. But Thatcher's honesty about the zero tolerance of drugs and, you know, alcohol on campus, because that's, that's my baby. You know, as a parent, you have to trust these other adults that are going to influence your child. That's a leap that a parent has to make, but I think here at Thatcher, you can trust uh, that there are shared values. He's had a great advisor every year and they've chosen them so that they've adjusted to the fact that he's getting older. You have this this kind of outside perspective on their growth that wouldn't be available to you if you saw them daily. It's not just rewarding, it's moving. Her advisor is very, very awesome. I like love her. She's like a, a mom you know, away from mom. So I felt like she was my first line of defense. And then I uh, reached out to Kamaya's dorm head. She's really responsive. I think it's different from doing it 20 years ago because of digital communications, you know, Skyping and being able to see, see your kid's face 
and talk to him. Um, that does make a big difference. It was never more than six weeks. That they were never us seeing them or them coming home to see us. That was the most, six weeks. I feel like now they appreciate us more and they value the time we spend together more because it's like it becomes like a special time when we are together. And before she went to boarding school, quantity of time, you know, it was endless. I was with her all the time. But we get to spend quality time together. I feel like she opens up, you know, more to me. He is so happy that uh, we simply could never take him away from here now. I can't imagine him going anyplace else. And when we do come out to visit, it's, uh, I think it's really joyful uh, because it's a bit of a reunion. It's not something that just happens in a mundane, we'll drop in and see the basketball game kind of way. It's a special event. I didn't think we'd be any more involved if he was living at home as a teenage boy. Honestly, I don't think it's any different from if he was at a boarding school an hour away or even a day student disappearing up to his room with his friends. I think he enjoys growing up away from us, not that we're not a very close family. You know, I think a lot of the friction um, that can sometimes happen between teenagers and parents is sort of taken on by a school. And I think a school like Thatcher takes that responsibility and deals with it very, very well. If, if you think about the, the difference between going away to boarding school and being at a boarding school that's closer to home, well, there's kind of some added value. Going to school so far away makes you so independent. I mean, I think that there are children, obviously, who go to university and they've never taken a bus by themselves, much less gotten on a plane by themselves. You really do move very confidently toward adulthood by going to a school like Thatcher and the fact for us that it's so far away. She really wanted to be here. And, you know, as a parent that I had opportunities to do things that my family was afraid to allow me to do, I didn't want to stifle an opportunity. I didn't want to stand in her way, you know, from something, you know, that could be great. So I said, okay, you want to go? Unselfishly, I had to let her go. But there's this term that has been applied to today's parents, the lawnmower parents who try to clear the path for their kids. And, we don't have that philosophy. We think that challenges are a part of growing up and students need those challenges. And, and, um, and Thatcher is really intentional about you know, the positive risk taking uh, that's associated with growing up. I feel this has been really, really good for them, just expanding their world out of Union, New Jersey. You know. This is a part of the world that faces across the Pacific, around the Atlantic, and has a naturally different perspective. And I think he's getting that. Um, and he's had plenty of the other, and he always will. When I uh, meet other parents in Washington, though, about you know, that James is at boarding school, and they all say to me, oh, I could never do that to my child. I love my child too much. And of course, I feel that it's because I love James so much that I've been able to send him this far away because this is an opportunity for him to grow in ways that I don't think he could if he had stayed at a school at home.